you'll see how to combine Skarhoi panels. Skarhoi products can of course be fully self-contained, but they are also designed to be truly modular, allowing them to be combined in endless ways. To do this, you simply use any blue pill products. This will be the brain of the setup. Then add one or more panels. This can be either blue pill or Unisketch products, and they will be controlled by the brain. There are many good reasons to combine panels. More buttons. You may have an Airfly Pro for video switcher control and wish to directly select more sources. By adding one or more Crosspoint 48s, you get more physical buttons, expanding your tactile workflow. More features. You have a PTC Fly, Pro or Extreme for camera control and wish to use our visual presets, where you see the actual image from the camera when storing a PTC preset. By adding any panel with color displays, such as the Frameshot Pro, you gain this new feature. More control. You want two operators to control the same device, such as handling shading and replay on a Dream Chip camera. But this camera only allow one remote connection. That's not a problem, as our panels talk to each other and share one connection to the camera. More flexibility. You have a waveboard, but want to adapt to more demanding setups. By adding a waveboard mini, you increase the physical fader count, allowing you to directly control even more channels of camera iris, audio mixers and more. And finally, more of everything. By combining multiple panels, you can design the perfect mega panel for your exact workflow. As you have seen, the hardware modules click together using magnets. The same is true for the software. In the configuration manager for BluePill, you can add multiple panels, both BluePill and Unisketch. We have made a limited number of combined configurations. In the menu, it'll mainly say small for single panel configs, medium for two panel configs, and large for three panel configs. You can use these pre-made configurations as a fast way to get started and edit them to your liking, or make your own configuration from scratch. I'll show you two examples where I use our combined configurations. First, make a blue pill panel control a Unisketch panel. And next, make a blue pill panel control another blue pill panel. Let's get started. Use a blue pill product to control a Unisketch product. In this example, we'll use a Frameshot Pro with blue pill inside to control a PTC Pro Unisketch panel. This will reward us in two ways. The PTC Pro is upgraded to blue pill performance and we get to use visual presets. For this to work, we need to do two things. First, we set the Unisketch panel into blue pill mode, which means it will not use its own brain, but is just waiting to be controlled by a blue pill product. Then we open the configuration manager on Frameshot Pro, choose a default combined configuration and add PTC Pro to it. Let's start with the PTC Pro. Connect the panel to your computer via USB. Open the Skahoy Updater app and click Online Configuration. Select the Blue Pill Mode configuration and scroll to the Page button and enter IP settings for the device. Click Save and return to the Skahoy Updater app. Here we click the Update Configuration Firmware button. Wait for the firmware to download and the device to reboot. All right, that was the first step. PTC Pro is now in blue pill mode, waiting to be controlled. Now on to the Frameshot Pro. To access it, we enter its IP address to see Reactor, 
the Configuration Manager for Bluepill. On the home page, we select the default configuration PCC Pro plus Frameshot, generic PCC control. As this is a two device configuration, we are asked to add the missing panel. We simply select the PTC Pro. To test it, we need a few cameras. I'll add a Canon N500 and an N300 and add them to the panels. That's it. We now have camera control from PTC Pro and see the visual presets in the displays. All controlled from the Frameshot Pro. Let's move on to the next example. Use a blue pill product to control another blue pill product. In this example, we'll use an Airfly Pro with blue pill inside to control a Crosspoint 48, which also has blue pill inside. Adding the Crosspoint 48 gives us even more buttons for fast, tactile control of our video switcher. And they will function as one unit. For this to work, we need to do two things. First, we turn off Reactor in the Crosspoint 48. This way, it doesn't use its own brain, but is just controlled by another Blue Pill product. Then, we open the Airfly Pro Configuration Manager, choose a default combined configuration, and add Crosspoint 48 to it. Let's access Crosspoint 48 by entering its IP address. Here we see Reactor homepage. Go to the Packages page and click Hardware Manager. Here we disable Listen on Socket. This means don't listen to yourself. Instead, we enable Listen on Port. This means listen to someone else. Then we click Save and Restart. That was the first step. Crosspoint 48 is now a dumb panel waiting to be controlled. So let's go to the Airfly Pro by entering its IP address. We select the default configuration Airfly Pro Atom Medium. Remember, Medium means that this is a two panel config, so we are asked to select the missing panel. We simply select the Crosspoint 48. To test it, we'll add an Atom video switcher. That's it. As you see, the Atom sources are now displayed across the extended row of buttons. And selecting the shift layer is also reflected on both panels. You could of course add even more modules. All would be controlled by the Airfly Pro. All right. Now you know how to combine Skahoy panels. And remember, any Blue Pill product can control both Blue Pill and Unisketch panels. We're sure you'll find great uses for this. Please let us know in the comments which panels you combine and what they control. I'm sure you'll surprise us. Please also watch our other how to videos on reactor setup and configuration. You'll find links to these in the description.